this time, I'm just going to share my screen so you have a visual of, of what we're talking about. You're going to notice that there are flags, and I apologize, it might be a little tough to see. But this is now today uh, on Cows' First Nation, and this is what we call today our community gravesite. We also wanted to show you a little more of a, of a visual from a drone perspective of the 751 hits, the machine has a 10 to 15% error percentage. So <clears throat> we will only go by the hits that we have of 751, but we do know there's at least 600. You're gonna notice that they are in proper order these that lay here are one meter by one meter apart in some cases. We cannot affirm that they are all children. And I spent 11 years here at the residential school from 1942 to 1953. So, and, uh, and just to what do you call it, like a brief uh, history on residential schools, like all these, there was 139 of these schools like this across Canada, you know, but there was just kids here. And that's kind of hitting below the line when you start to, you know, like, uh, they kill them kids or something like that just because of uh, their nationality or just because of their uh, language and our, our culture. They took that away from us and and my and the belief. See, I, my family, we don't believe in the church. You know, it's like uh, we're native people, so we have our own way. Just like uh, you know, say you went to Africa, they have their own way of believing. Like it's not the way. It's not Christianity or anything. They got their own way. So, uh, not not in my time, my 11 years, there was no unmarked graves, but there was always talk about it, you know. And kind of like behind that, there was a farm. They had a farm buildings here, and they said it's kind of like behind that. We still are demanding that this be, uh, uh, you know, searched with the radar. Yeah, yeah, all the grounds here. Yeah, and all the schools across Canada, I think that's what they're demanding, like all the schools across Canada, 139 schools, yeah, they want them all with this radar and search for any bodies. Because we wanted justice for all the kids that went here. Because some of the kids that con that went to went here and uh, uh, it was uh, such a traumatic thing on their life that they, they can't talk about it. Uh, I know some people that uh, they won't even, they can't even go in there because of the stuff that they went through, you know. And they, they might get this far. Some of them never talk about it. They don't tell their kids and stuff like that, you know. So it's just like a, what I, uh, in my talks, I call it like a prison for kids. We, d we did no crime, you know, just be native. I guess that's our crime, being native. <laughs> so now that uh, if you have a proper uh, funeral for them, yeah, and then, uh, you know, they can get on their way to the spirit world. And then after that, that gets done. Then we can uh, start thinking about uh, genocide. Yeah, so we might try maybe uh, charge Canada with genocide yeah. now, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, some of these, uh, for all the atrocities, uh, the stuff they've done to these kids, somebody's got to pay. 